to my channel. I'm Marisa Collison. Today we're talking about the Timberline Pants by Sika Gear. Cabela's um, up north in Anchorage roughly two plus years ago and they immediately caught my eye. I loved the cut of them and the styling. Uh, women's hunting gear wasn't real common um, at that time and so I went and I tried them on and loved how they felt, loved how I I looked in them. One of the first things I like about is the waist and it, it's a lower profile waist and I hate anything high waist. Um, if you've seen in my videos, it's just kind of a turn off for me because everything just starts accumulating right here. So the lower waist is one of my uh, top points here. Um, the button is a webbing style button and so it's not going to fray or it's not going to tear and uh, lose a button while you're out hiking. Along the seam of the waist is a nice silicone tape seam which helps with non-slip. Adds a little grip so there's no slip. I will point out the obvious that these are a hunting pant. Um, it's a hunting line bicycle gear but being up in Alaska and southeast um, I wear them for hiking and they do have another color that's a lead color. It's just a nice um, off gray of this and so if the camo kind of turns you off then you have options in that area. Continuing down the pant there are the softest uh, felt line pockets and I love them so much. I just like with my hands are cold and today's 54 degrees. It's a uh, straight up fall in Petersburg, um, but it feels a little bit more like it's in the 40s. So like right now my hands are a little bit chilly um, and they're really soft and warm in these pockets. The slash style pocket has a real low profile zipper. The zipper pull on this is really easy to grab, unzip, and it's big enough and deep enough that you can fit your phone in there and it goes clear down to here. So you got lots of room. If you uh, like to run with pocket knives, it is a little bit hard to run with a pocket knife. So just bear that in mind. Working my way down the pants, so we have nice cargo style pockets on either side. And they do have a waterproof zipper here and you can fit on either side. Your phone can fit in there too. However, it's not waterproof. So whatever you're sticking in these pockets, if it's a, a really wet, damp day, just remember that they can get wet. The snaps on these is a silent snap. Um, so it's meant to be, you know, when you're out hunting and you've got that nice moment where everything's quiet and you go to get something out of your pocket. It's quiet. Working down the pant, we have nylon ripstop waterproof knee pads and seat pad and um, they are nice and durable. It's meant for when you're grappling around in the mountainside um, and so you know I love the patches on the fronts and the backs. Um, they are really nice when you're out you gotta know, take breaks or you need to sit down and readjust your backpack. These are really super great. The knee pads on here are really nice dense foam. They articulate well and uh, they're really durable. So when you're out there, you know, taking breaks, uh, scuffling around on those hard surfaces, these are going to withstand fairly well. I don't run with them. Um, the kind of hunting or hiking that we do is going to be on mostly soggy wet stuff 
so I don't really run with the knee inserts. Number lines are made with the polyester stretch material. Super comfortable, easy to maneuver with when you're hiking. Uh, it's coated with a DWR coating. However, anyone in Alaska knows DWR does not hold up for very long. And so um, in really wet, misty mornings, oh, was it nice? Yeah. And wet, misty, yeah, wet, misty mornings, um, walking through tall grass, it's going to get wet. And so just bear that in mind when you are headed out for a hike or a hunt, you know, consider how long you're going to be out there for. And, um, so just, yeah, think about that. The, um, it does say it's water resistant. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't claim waterproofness. Um, so definitely plan ahead for that. Um, when we're hiking out here in the muskegs and in the tall brush, everything is wet. Wet, wet, wet. Even if it's say if it's a nice day today, but it was rainy yesterday, all the blueberry brush is going to be soaked. So as you're walking through, you know, it's going to get wet. It's going to absorb. So down here, I've got a taller boot and it is thicker. And these fit really great over the boot. Um, I also wear them a lot with my extra tufts and they fit really well over extra tufts. And so you're not going to get any um, weird tapering or, you know, having to tuck them in, things like that. They're made to fit well over boots. The, the cut profile on these is a more athletic fit and it does say it is a tapered pant. So it's not a boot cut, but as you can see, even though it's a tapered fit, it does fit over my boots. I pointed out that these are really great for late, early fall, late fall, and early winter. Um, they also are really nice in the colder months, say like um, even in February when we have nice cold snaps. And uh, you can wear a nice um, base layer underneath it. It's room enough for that. Um, even though it is a breathable material, there are no side vents on these pants, which I think would be a really nice... Um, addition to them because you do do you do warm up in these pants the two pockets that they have here if you don't have anything in them because of the breathable material um it does allow so for some venting um it's not perforated or anything like that but it'll give you some relief if you're really overheating these pants are um according to your waist size and they only come in a regular length these are 26s and they hit me, you know, right here. They're pretty roomy in the thighs and I tend to have uh, thicker thighs. So they really fit me well and they still have some room to fit a base layer under. I Oh my goodness. Bruno, what is that? It's the squirrels fighting. I have a 26 size. Um, I'm 5'4", 130 pounds, and so if that helps you kind of figure out what sizing you would need. Guys, if you're watching and you're interested in the Timberline pants, the only difference between the women's and the men's is the men's has an offset button. The belt loops are a little bit bigger, so you can fit your manly belts in there, and they come with suspenders which I kind of wish these ones came with because I really like suspenders. Sigur Gear took really good care in making the women's line um, made for a woman uh, instead of just taking a guy's style and like replicating it into a smaller size. So you know women don't think that you just have to buy an extra small in the men's to fit. Take your time, find the right size for you and get a women's. All right, when you're hiking out and it's uh, wet and the moisture starts kind of wicking up your leg, it's going to start hitting your socks. Once it hits your socks, it's going to travel down your boot and you're going to have issues thinking that your boots are leaking when really it's just the water seeping up. Well, I do recommend hiking with gaiters or at least packing them in your bag. <laughs> Ready? 
All right, we have a pair of gauges here. I stick a gear. You don't need stick a gear ones. However, I do recommend you packing these with you. If you're gonna be in tall grass, if you know you're gonna be getting wet, they really do just kind of save you the whole hassle of having a really wet pant leg. And the biggest advantage is actually just keeping your feet dry, which is pretty important in Alaska. Wet feet, cold feet, cold feet. Miserable time. All right, like with anything, the money that you invest into it is going to equal the product that you get. So these pants are well well worth the money that I invested. They run $249 on the website. We're going on two and a half, three years um, with the same pair of pants. And um, I'm excited to try other products from Sika Gear in the pants line. I've got more reviews coming on Sika Gear on a couple different tops. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Um, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the video or any other products you'd like me to test. See ya!